lovers, Crystal here with Blue Cactus Dairy Goats, and we are getting into Phoenix. So what's going on, um, this is Emily and Darren's birthday weekend, and we always like to go and do something really cool. Typically we go to somewhere like the Grand Canyon or something like that. So we knew we had a goat meeting in Casa Grande, so we figured we'd just go to the meeting and head on up to the Grand Canyon and spend the weekend. So then it turns out, um, got some emails through all the people in the goat club, good reason to be in a goat club, um, somebody was going to sell her goats, like a lot of them, a lot of Nigis. So this isn't just anybody selling their goats. Last year, um, this, this particular breeder actually completely downsized her herd, um, like, you know, got rid of most of them and just kind of kept the cream of the crop, ones that she was going to, you know, obviously the best of the best in her herd. So now she's come to a situation where she, she just has to get rid of all of them. So there were six for sale, one was bred, one's even won a grand champion title, and uh, just really good lines. They come from um, Dills lines, there's Dills in the background, Twin Creeks, uh, Castle Rock, Piddle and Acres, so really, really super good lines. Um, you know, these goats are really good. So when we're in the shows and stuff, she'll, she'll come in and, and she's really good competition. Sometimes we win, sometimes she wins, but just really, really, really nice looking animals that, that she breeds. So I was really excited about it. And this is what I've been, you know, working on. We were just gonna go see the goats and head up to the Grand Canyon. That was, that was the plan. And then I um, thought maybe I reached out to Weedem and Reap and thought maybe we'll go see if she wanted to go bowling or something in Phoenix. Maybe it'd be easier to stay around in Phoenix. And um, so we actually had planned to go see Weedem and Reap. Um, she was like, no, let's not go bowling. Just come out to the come out to her little farm. So was really excited about that. She's definitely my favorite goat loving YouTuber. Um, you know, a lot of you guys love her as well. So we were really, really, really excited to go. You know, all our plans were set. Gonna go look at some goats. Gonna go do some cool things in Phoenix. On the way back, go see, you know, Weedem and Reeb, meet Danelle and her family. Um, but an emergency came up and for the woman selling the goats and she needs them gone this Saturday. So the kids' birthdays are taken kind of for this weekend, are taking a little bit of a back seat because we're getting an awesome deal on these goats, um, some really, really good goats, and it was going to be six, one bred, and now it's going to be potentially seven, and two of them bred, so something, you know, when things like this come up, you don't really want to pass them up. Danelle did say, uh, you know, well, I discussed it with her, and we'll, we'll meet sometime, so excited about that. Pretty bummed it won't happen this weekend, but it will. So that's the plan. We are going to go look at six, potentially seven goats. And if all goes well, we'll be adding them to the herd. Well, we're here, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to vlog anything, so I'll try. Okay, so we picked up a couple of hitchhikers as well. Um, gonna take some back for a friend of the goat club. But we ended up with seven does all together, Nigis for us, and one of them is bred. The other one that was potentially bred, her mom decided to keep. So, but seven really pretty looking does. couple of giant goats. Here's one. A bunch of Nigerians. Another tog. And behind this tog is the tog's little itty bitty babies. <laughs> Two of them. Almost the size of the Nigerians. Three weeks old. Oh! And one of the goats, completely forgot until I just saw her udder, was surprised her I guess she didn't know she was bred and she woke up and there was two babies but they didn't make it so one of these does is actually in milk so we're gonna have to be milking her all right well it is getting late it is already 6 20 and we're probably not gonna get home till about 9 9 30 so it's gonna be dark so I won't be able to show you guys all the goats but seven more goats how cool is that so I'm pretty excited about that and we will show you guys them tomorrow. So sorry for another short video. Make sure you're subscribed so you can see all these pretty goats. And see you tomorrow. Bye.
crazy people. 